the background. Nah, don't fall. That's awkward. Hi everybody, welcome back on my channel. Thank you for joining me. So for this week's video, I figured I would do something a little different. I feel like I start every one of my videos with that, but like it's been a little while now. I've been doing some of the ghostly stuff. Today I've just wanted to do something a little more fun, a little 2018 probably. But you know, if you're into the witchy stuff and all, like I figured, that you would probably still enjoy this, so why not? So the past weekend, I went to York. What? York? I haven't seen the video for that. Well, it's coming up at some point, probably before 2025. And I got a little excited and I bought a, a, maybe a little, a little bit of stuff. Now looking at it, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was because I did not look I did not look at my bank account. I still haven't. I, I was just automatically deleting the notifications from my bank account saying how much I've spent. Cause I don't wanna know. I genuinely don't wanna know. I don't think I need to know. Not right now. Oh my God, why is it so hot? I've been freezing all day. Spoiler alert, um, what I got and my haul is not a tutorial for that look. I don't know what happened. We're just gonna roll with it. I always go for just, I'm like, I'm just gonna do eyeliner, just a touch. And, and then it ends up like this. I just get, get in the zone, I get inspired. Spirits speak to me. I'm sorry for the bad light. I, I've done nothing all day, but then I decided to do spontaneously that video now at eight o'clock PM as the sun is setting. So we're just gonna have to do with the semi sun that is left and the one lamp there. <laughs> Apologies, not accepted. And I feel like if you're into witchy stuff, you're gonna enjoy today because York is quite a magical city. I mean, it gives Harry Potter vibes. Allegedly, the shambles also inspired Diagon Alley. It's like the little real life Diagon Alley. And like shops there are quite witchy. There's a Harry Potter shop there. So I went there. Got a few, got a bit of stuff. But the main reason I was going to York in the first place was because there was this well-being festival with people exhibiting like, and selling crystals, crystals, <laughs> psychic readers. And you could also attend like a few talks and stuff like that. I did attend one, but I think he started early. We showed up at three, like even though a few minutes before three and he was already speaking. And I was like, are we in the right one? Why is that the previous one that's not finished? And turns out it was the right one, but I missed the whole beginning, so I had a lot of trouble jumping into it. And then it was supposed to last like 45 minutes, and then by 3.20 it was over. So I was like, how long ago did it start? I barely understood anything that was just happening. It was about light language and the holographic existence. I, it's all, already kind of confusing. The light worker had places to be. <laughs> On this long introduction, what did I get? I was heavy breathing. It was really, it was my vibe. It was a lot, people there were so nice. We had lovely talks about like, I don't know, just spiritual shit in general. Yeah, and crystals were crazy. Like there were crystals this big that obviously I couldn't afford nor carry. So yeah, so let's jump into that. Oh my God, my hair. I just let them loose, but I thought that was cute. Kind of. Okay. So the first thing I got, and at this stand, like it was a bunch of crystals, but also like things worked out in woods. And I'm just realizing now, I don't know if I actually got the name of most of these shops. Cause I've got like cards, but I think th those are the ones that didn't buy from, but I wanted to look online. Maybe not, I'll s see. <laughs> All right, the first thing I got that they wrapped in this lovely winter wrap, witch's runes. Look how fucking beautiful that is. They do the, the, the wood carvings themselves, and I guess the designs as well. Oh my God, it looks like there's a little smiley in the background. So yes, that was, that was just so pretty. I had to get it and inside, ooh. Damn, it smells. Now they're not the rune, like the Elder Futhark that we're used to seeing. Um, and to be quite frank, uh, I don't know what these are. <laughs> I figured maybe it would come with a bit of an explanation guide, uh, but it doesn't. 
so but it's pretty it's a bit of like a mix with like it feels like a bit like a like a tarot of some sort almost uh like this one says the eye and then we've got the star one of them says the rings like this one also on top says belting so that's mainly why i took it because it had well it was very pretty and some of them have like maybon imbok Samhain, so they have like pretty much all of the um pagan holidays they've got midwinter which is the moon what would be midwinter in bulk uh i'm weird but they do have in bulk which is the bird uh they had so many nice crystals like some of them with like prints like they were a little like uh how they call like points you know when they do like little towers of crystals and then but there was like like a print of a design not carved but just printed but i did get something else from them because i've been wanting to have that for a little while and i justified it by thinking it was gonna help me regulate my practice so i got a little tarot card holder very cute this was only five pounds so i was like sure and that other thing was i think 20 something 25 22 i don't know but it's just very pretty and it makes an instrument <laughs> okay i don't know what's happening here it's getting darker we gotta be quick i can't remember the name of the shop all right next at the festival i got i don't know if i'm doing these ones in order but that's not in order. i was getting excited all right by a lot of things and i just thought this was so cute um it's a little candle holder three pounds maybe maybe a bit much for this but it's so cute it's like a little ouija thing i've got small candles and none of that so now i can hold my colorful blue candles yeah that's it. I also do not know the name of that shop. <laughs> Alright, next is a spray uh, made with essential oil and there's a crystal at the bottom as well. The name of the shop is not printed on it. This is a grounding spray and I found it so funny, but it smells it smells it smells really good. Actually, let me <laughs> ground myself right now. Oh, I just love patchouli. Okay, so the crystal in there is a tiger's eye and the essential oils are patchouli, sandalwood, and I remember there was cedar in there. Probably the one that's erased. Um, it says for the root chakra. It just smelled really nice and I remember he was like trying to, you know, advertise it. And, like back in the day, this would have been just a grounding spray, helps you feel grounded helps you feel relaxed you know just for maybe stress and anxiety and now it was just like this helps for anxiety adhd autism and i was just like are we advertising those now <laughs> because they're like now all over the place I, I just found it funny but it smells very good it's getting quite dark in it right next up is this really cool ruby it's a specific type of ruby i forgot exactly how it's called probably this these are basically only found in india they also naturally form triangles on them and i had to look at every single one of them to find the one that like had the best triangle on it this one wasn't the best for the triangle but it was also like a bit more red than the other one uh, and this was this one was what 12 pounds i think don't remember i think the spray was like 10 pounds so i took it because it said that since they naturally make that triangle shape they're like thought to be linked to the akashic records and like i've been meaning to do that meditation from jk ultra to access access the akashic records i'll link it down below if you're interested in trying that but um yeah i just thought it was so cool and it was like ooh, you know so mystic and i i just needed to have it i needed to have it it's so cold it's nice yeah so um this is my ruby <laughs> i mean it's nice in itself because it's a ruby i really like it <laughs> quickly if you don't know what the akashic records is it's like how do i summarize that obviously in the spiritual world on the other side it's this li sort of library that is said to keep records of all the lives lived but yeah essentially that's that lived and being lived and that will be lived just all the lives it's like 
it's like the library of life. <laughs> this one is a candle. That, now all the candles that she had were just majestic. I got this one for... I asked her like three fucking damn times. I think it's for grounding or like getting rid of stuff. Grounding maybe. Why do I always get the grounding stuff and why can't I open it? Um, I really went with the one that I thought smelled the best. There was another one that I really liked that was for like new beginnings and all this stuff. But I think I vibed more with that one. Oh my god. Oh, it does smell so good. Here it is. There's a crystal in there. And then it comes with a little cute thingy as well. But yeah, and it's supposed to turn black as it melts down. So that's really cool. And last but not the least, is that it? For what I got at the festival, I honestly thought it was more, but it felt like a lot at that time because we were there for ages, is an outfit. Kind of just got, I kind of just got excited once again. I saw there was a top and pen. She said, I, I can make you like a special price because since they're like a, we kind of go together and make it cheaper. And I was like, that sounds like a bargain. So I took both um, and now I can style them both differently. So this is the top. I mean, I'm going to Brighton for the summer. This is gonna be perfect on the beach. So I just had to get it. Does it fit me well? You better say yes. But yeah, so that's what I got from the festival, from the well-being festival in York. Now for the rest. So the next day, we started our day late, but we went to the shambles. I honestly really had to pace myself, which I think I did quite successfully. There's one, two, three, four, five things. Is that it? Not bad. Right, so we went into that shop called Society of Alchemists. Uh, even the bag is so fucking cool. I wanted to get everything in that shop. Just from the moment we stepped in, it was like the whole vibe. They had like, you know, fake books on moss. That were like kind of like, I don't know, old witchy library. They sold like bath bombs, candles, perfumes and all this stuff. But it was just so nice. And I was like freaking out entering there. And we started talking with one of the employees. And I was like, I'm obsessed with this place. Like, are you like hiring? They went like, oh, actually, let me go and find out. And like, they left. And I was like, okay, I kind of just said that as a joke, you know, because... It's like, oh, I like the place so much. I want to be here all the time. And then uh, she came back with the manager who was like, oh, so you're looking for a job? And I was like, um, I don't live here. Uh, it was kind of awkward. But uh, anyway, I really, really loved the place. I wanted to get everything. They even had like pins that just looked so cool. They had like birthday cards that just looked so cool. But I ended up getting two bath bombs. First one is this witchy cauldron. And it smells... It smells quite nice. I don't know what it smells like, but it's really nice. Uh, really nice. Uh, the next one is this witch doctor one, which is just so cool. And there's another one I wanted to get, which was essentially a, a baby's face with like red eyes. And the guy was like, when it starts melting, it like bleeds, like his eyes bleed. It bleeds. And I was like, how fucking cool is that? But it smelled awful. I hated it. So I didn't take it, obviously. This one smells more like your regular bath bomb, kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but I smell that and I'm like, yes, bath bomb. And this one, a bit more tropical. It had also like pillar candles with like quotes that said like, open up your mind and stuff like that. They were just so cool. The other thing they had, a few music boxes very cute and they had several songs like they had the game of thrones they had they had moana like see the light as it shines in the sea they had star wars they had nightmare before christmas you know like that it's kind of vibe but obviously i had to get the harry potter one Can you hear it go? Eh, eh. <laughs> oh no, that's so funny. I just had to get it. I don't know. I just love how it sounds also. Like the other songs was like, oh cute, but this just sounds right. Plus it looks goddamn cool. I mean, there's fucking snakes on the side. It's just like all designs. It says Society of Alchemists. But I did go into the Harry Potter shop. Now, obviously, there's like Harry Potter shops a bit everywhere. 
in in the UK. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me, you silly goose. Hello, girl. Get yourself an Airbnb that comes with a cat, honestly. <laughs> oh, you're so lovely. I love her. She's named Athena and she's the best. Except when she brings back live birds. Inside. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but at least I was alive, hey? We put him back outside. Yes, we did. Okay, anywho, it's getting really dark. I hope you can see me. I'll get closer to the light. Hi, how you doing? Ah. Oh, you can kind of see her tail. <laughs> Through the camera, my thumb kind of looks like it's uh, nail polish. No, it is dried blood underneath my fingernail. And I, I still have a bruise here as well, caused by a motherfucking gate at the old man of store on the Isle of Skye. That motherfucker, from the parking, there's a gate you have to open and it just ruined me. It's been almost two months. Anyway, so that video is also going to be out. I'm assuming this is coming out first because I am me. You'll see that coming soon as well if you like to follow my vlogs, which it's fun. All right, just watch my vlogs. They're fun. I'm fun. There's one that's gonna come up I go to this beach where there are actual dinosaur footprints and we play a game, we can try to find them together. Go watch them and if it's already out, if it's not, keep an eye out. Keep an eye and ear. See? She's she's on a mission. She's gonna she's keeping her eye out. Just one. <laughs> Alright. Next we went to the Harry Potter shop, which kind of it like has three shops almost because it's so big it's like it's got two entrances next to each other and then they even have one like across the street like just they have like three shops the the one thing i kind of regret i've been wanting that for a long time one of the chocolate frogs but with the actual like you know 3d box it's, i don't know it's silly because it's just a box and then you get to keep the box but it was like 12 pounds i was like mm, can i afford that much for like chocolate and again it was something i was gonna have to carry anyway i left it there i was like this is for another time i'll find some more chocolate frogs someday instead i got a butterbeer <laughs> And funny enough, I went to this other shop afterwards, which was uh, Potions Cauldron, I think? They make drinks and then you can also book to make your own potions. And I got a butterbeer there where with like whipped cream and everything on top, with, like a lot of whipped cream. They were just like, I can put more, just tell me when to stop. And I was like, uh, stop. And they just kept going. I was like, okay. But it was good, it was great. I almost needed a spoon to eat it. This is what it looked like, aesthetic picture. But turns out it's the actual same butter beer because I bought this first. They just emptied a bottle of this in a cup and then added whipped cream. But now at least I tested it and it's quite good. Carbonated water, sugar, acid, great. Flavoring, caramel. Oh, I thought it was butterscotch, you liars. The other thing I got was a candle. Ah. Bewitched pumpkin. It smells so good, y'all. Oh. It smells really nice. I don't know why I showed it to you. Like, I was gonna go, like, smell this. Mmm, smells so good. Can you tell? I'll telepathy it to you. Kind of slightly smells like apples as well, like, like oak barrel or something. But they had so much nice stuff. It was very cute. And then the last thing I got in York, which that's, of course, other than food and that blah, blah. It's very random. It's not very witchy. Although, if you take it there, if you think about it for a while, it may be. I went there with a friend, with my bestie. And he really wanted to look at this retro game shop. It was a really cool shop. A lot of retro game games, obviously. Figures, plushies, some, like, Japanese really a bit more modern obviously they even have like they had ps4 games which in my mind is not retro but i guess it's like the old console because now it's ps5 <laughs> yeah anyway so it wasn't all old stuff but they did have like old game boy like game boy advance sega then i saw they had like this wall of like figurines and like bag hung up and one of them that was basically just where my eyes were at the front in the middle my eyes went straight to it and i was like no fucking way. So I'm gonna explain to you. There is this movie that I used to be obsessed with as a child. Years later, years later, like I think I was in Japan 
I suddenly remember that movie because it had been years since I'd seen it. Like, you know when you remember something that all of a sudden you're like, wait a second, I had completely forgotten about that thing. Do you know that feeling? Like sometimes it's a cartoon that you haven't thought of for years and you forgot it existed and then it comes back to you and you're like, whoa, it's like you unlocked memories all of a sudden. That happened to me with that movie and I was like, to the point where I was thinking about it, couldn't remember the title, couldn't remember much of the plot, to the point where I was like, was that a weird dream because it's a weird movie because like I kept researching and I couldn't find what I could remember sort of was these kangaroo warriors kung fu people typing this in in, in Google at that time would not have the movie pop up. If you know what I'm talking about by just that description you are the fucking OG all right reveal the movie it's called Warriors of Virtue, kind of like this sort of spiritual kung fu kangaroo weird thing. But I really loved that movie and I have it in like a VHS box back home. I know I know where it is on the shelf, okay? And and these, you know these, um, I, I really hope that the people watching that video are like older than than the generation that doesn't know what I'm talking about. It's like a VHS box, but like the plastic ones that you could open like that and it goes oh, yeah! an awful sound, but it's the sound of movie time because you know you have the VHS, I don't know what I'm talking about this. That matters because inside that plastic box was a little card like this, bigger, advertising figures, like action figures of the characters of the movie. And that is where my story ends because in that retro game shop, my eyes laid upon her. <laughs> As a child, I was looking at this little piece of paper so much, all right? And I was like, mom, I want them. She was like, bruh, I don't know where to get them from. Anyway, so this is like the girl, the girl warrior. Shun the virtue of loyalty, security of earth. She was like four pounds and my inner child was like, I really want it. She was the only one. I checked if there were some of her brothers. There weren't. But yeah, underneath her foot, it says 1996. Oh! I was like one year old. <laughs> So like, one of the things I'm the most happy about is this. I was watching Netflix yesterday, just like holding her. I'm on a healing journey. I'm healing the inner child. It's okay, I'm not crazy. Everything's all right. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, um. There you go. So this is what I got in York from different places. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you go to York at some point in your life if you haven't been there. It would be funny if you live there and you're watching this. You're like, what did you get all this crap for? Because I love it. Steve. My brain went with Andrew and I said, Steve, strange. I think this is not too bad, actually. I think this is regular regular hole. I think this is okay. I feel much better about myself. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of random and it didn't probably like didn't make your life better, didn't make mine better. It did make my day a little better because that means I kind of talk to someone and it feels like I've done something. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with something a little bit more consistent, something with a bigger purpose. Hopefully, it might be a city vlog, it might be some ghost hunting, it might be some crucial information about spirituality slash witchcraft slash whatever you want it to be. Let me know in the comment what the next video would you brain malfunction, what the next video should be, and who knows, maybe I'm, I'll be talking about the Akashic Records. Would you like to know more about that? Let me know that in the comments. Which item would you have gotten? I will see you guys hopefully very soon, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, night, or whatever it is when you're watching this, and remember that life's what you make it, so let's make it rock, let's make it rock. <laughs> I like how I went deep into my brain to think of something meaningful and philosophical to say and Hannah Montana came out. I love you all very much and uh, it's time for me to go. It really is. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah.